So this after a state of emergency was declared in Portland and dozens of events were canceled around the metro. We're now hearing from local restaurant and business owners now feeling an economic impact. Yeah, our COVID-19 coverage continues tonight with Jenny Young. I know you were talking to those folks, Jenny. Jeff, Jennifer, we're out here in Northwest Portland near Northwest, Northwest 23rd and Thurman. I've walked into at least a half a dozen restaurants out here tonight uh, to talk to some of the employees and the owners, and they're saying they are taking a hit, feeling a decline, seeing a decline in customers, of course, is extremely unsettling for employees and those owners. I've been a chef for the last 22 years. Yeah, the paella is always good that we get here. I love it here. Um, drinks are good. Walk into Itala on Northwest 23rd Street any night of the week, and it's likely you won't see many empty tables. You just like pop in your mouth, bite down, and then it just kind of, the goo just goes over. And if you want to enjoy some of the paella or some cocktails and tapas on the weekend, then we're told you better call ahead for a reservation or expect to wait. But Itala's owner and head chef, Jose Chesa says that has changed this week. The restaurant has seen a drastic decline in customers. Chesa said his staff started noticing it earlier in the week after Governor Brown declared a state of emergency due to the spread of COVID-19. It's noticeable, like people trying to like uh, be really cautious. When people don't show up to eat, it means the restaurant is forced to send some of the wait staff and chefs home early, meaning fewer tips. It's uh, it's hard. It's a challenging time for restaurants and also the local business community in Portland. According to Marcus Hibden with Travel Portland, the restaurant industry already experiences a tough go at it this time of the year. It's the reason Portland Dining Month was created more than a decade ago. Maybe they need even a little more love than they have in years prior. While it's time to heed the advice of public health officials, Hibden also wants to remind everyone it's a good time to show restaurants and other local businesses a bit more love. It is a good time to be extra cautious, wash your hands, do all of those things, but there's nothing that says you, you need to stay in your house and you can't go out if you're in a low risk population and you're feeling fine. Now, Mayor Wheeler did say today that the city would convene a COVID-19 economic task force to help come up with ideas for a stimulus package to help these small and large businesses recoup. Jeff, Jennifer, back to you. And Jenny, just your interview with that restaurant owner there, you see the domino effect this is having on schools, on events, mm -hmm. and on our local mm -hmm. businesses like the restaurants. Yeah, it's too bad. A lot more stories to be reporting on to come. Thanks, Jenny.